Yeah. Boozy, can we, can we just, can you just put, put your foot up, please? I'd nice like stretch. to welcome a, welcome a new guest onto a comedy, uh, Sam Boozy's new boots. Welcome, Sam. Box Motors are currently on somewhat of an upward trend as they visit the Berry Street Garage Stadium to face Brutal in the pitching in Northern Premier League Division 1 West tie here and coverage of today's game, as always, is sponsored by Baltic Apprenticeships. After a difficult start to their season which yielded just one draw and four defeats in all competitions, Vauxhall finally got their first win of the season at home on Bank Holiday Monday to the City of Liverpool and then they followed that up with a commanding performance away at Mosley in the Isuzu FA Trophy first qualifying round. After that dramatic last minute 3-2 win against City of Liverpool, as I said, the Moses put in a, a strong performance to ensure their progression into the next round of that competition. The red card for fullback Jack Grundy undoubtedly changed the game, but goals from Michael Berkey and Connor Harwood sealed a rare cup win for Vauxhall. So, Alongside me, as always, is Steve Owen, and let's go back a week. As I said, that red card did change the game, but it was still an impressive performance from Vauxhall. Yeah, I thought mostly started off with the team. Um, it wasn't... I, I think it was a game changer, Mick. I think he was more on the side of it. It was uh, quite an even game. I thought he was slightly, slightly better the team, but... Saying that we, we had a couple of chances while it was 11 v 11, but yeah, in that heat as well, just um, going down to 10 men with that long to go, it was, it was a great opportunity for us. And to be honest with you, we, uh, we stuck to it and ground them down and got them two important goals. Second half. It's funny how things can quickly change. There's no win in five, and then two wins on a bounce suddenly change the mood around everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was just it was always going to happen. Really. It's too much of a good team not to, to get wins. The chase time performance was really good. We had a man sent off, which probably swayed it the other way. Um, performance in, you know, the league weren't really, really great away. But not this time away, we believe. Should have won the first game, the last bit of penalty, so. You know, you look at all that, in fact, you shouldn't be that far off. Uh, you know, Avron started really well, so I think that's going to be a benchmark. You know, we were better team than them last season, so there's no reason why. Be and we joked with Mick last week getting a rare cup win after I think it was well over a year. It just gives the team something else to look forward to and next round offer that break or keep that momentum going yeah, in a different competition. Stockbridge Park Steelers next round. That's the one. Yeah. Three, uh, Jamie Vardy's Famously old team. Jamie Vardy's old team. Did you play David with Tag on? I think I mentioned last week. But um, yeah, Tell Home has now played away right there in Yorkshire. Uh, nice little setup, but it'll uh, be a tough one but you're in, the, you're in the act and you've got to own draw, so you've got to be looking to progress to another round. So let's focus on today's host. The little last taste of defeat exactly a month ago today. And come into this game on the back of their own victory in the FA Trophy. Put six past Conta AFC. Andy Scarswick with a late flurry of goals to send the books through. It's been five years since these last two these two teams last met competitively. It was in the first round of the North West Counties Football League Challenge Cup. Vauxhall racing to a 2-0 lead before being pegged back and eventually losing 4-2 on penalties. So let's focus on today's game and the hosts. It will sit ninth currently, haven't lost in a month. It's going to be a tough test. It's going to be a tough one. Yeah. Um, so what we, we played with people years ago when you were at the old round. And to see you here today, we've come along now. We had to score two to, to break the under league goal that year. There was two men that were there, but now great crowd. The facilities are brilliant. Um, you know, lovely power and that, you know, nice little stands. Um, the pitch is one of the best. It's immaculate. It's only been fought. I'm not too mildly. It's only been football at that site. The Premier League players walked out to the left. It wouldn't matter my head. The pitch is that good. So, I can't look forward to coming playing to the ball down and play on this. And you always mention it should be a feisty encounter with the Liverpool. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I always say you've got to win the battles first. Uh, being a scout yourself and all the scouts too. Like, it's, it's, yeah, you've got, you've got to win that battle. Uh, 
give them a to play him. Yeah, uh, yeah, the battles have already started. I've already been called Sunday League Darwin Nunez <laughs> within seconds of entering the clubhouse. As I said, we all sit ninth, and expectations are get the push for promotion to have a challenge. Box will sit ninth. Well, that fact into it, the early position. Four games early, four games in, four games in. Well, like I say, I don't think Box is all position. Is just to how they played. So, the Britain game. And you know what? That's, that's a big factor with in games. You, you win the first league game, you bounce on, you crack on from that, don't you? You play back, and it's going to drop a bit. So, you know, we've done that. Which one was a really tough one to take? And uh, the chase time could have got something out of it. She probably deserved something out of it. We, I just think that last minute win against City Liverpool. We'll have the opposite factor that the Whitman one did. So hopefully we can kick on from there and like say keep performance last week. Um, get me get something out of this game today will be a massive confidence boost as well. Well as the team warms up behind us to prepare themselves for what we hope and expect is a feisty counter here at the Bay Street Garage Stadium against Bootle. Alright, I'm Joe Sams and I'm Bootle FC's head of media. So Joe, first of all, you've uh, made quite a impact on football and Merseyside interviewing the likes of Jamie Carragher and uh, Curtis Jones and the like. What's that been like? What's it like? Your journey in football, what's it been like? It's been pretty much a whirlwind to be honest from where I, where I first started. Um, around, yeah, about two years ago now it was. Um, it, was just, it was like just interviewing like small local people and it sort of, come, like to come in here it sort of grew who I am as a person. And then that thing with Liverpool again, that just come out of nothing really. And then like you mentioned, speaking to likes of Andy Robertson and Curtis Jones and then Jamie Carragher, it all just come out of nowhere and you know, it couldn't have really happened at a better time as well. And then I used to just I was just doing like a couple of bits here until last year I got got given the nod to be the you know, the club's head of media officially and you know, tough up with open arms, couldn't wait to get started. Um I've done little bits of work there and there for Tramir as well. Um but then I just feel at home here and come back and now back at, back on the media team, back as head of media and yeah, I don't look back at all. It's a different kind of environment and only football is a special. Do you feel like you know you have a responsibility to spread that word of how good non league football can be? Yeah, you're right, because you sort of you don't get what you you don't get here what you get at the top. At the top it's more about doing the franchises and stuff like that. Whereas when it's here, you know, you can have a pint watching the game, stuff like that. You know. Watch your local team as well. You have to go there and everywhere. You know, follow your local team home and away. And you treat it like like you're a part of the community. You treat it like one when you're around here, as opposed to like sort of like a big football. Like you say, for example, I support Liverpool, and you're watching them. Sometimes you feel like a bit of a customer, don't you? You know how, how you know how the fans get treated. But when you come here, you treat it like you know everyone's your mate. You know, you know everyone and personally, you know. It's, it's brilliant, I think, and I think you do have a responsibility to sort of spread the word because, or because of how good and how big it's become. And it's good how it's like a lot of people now are starting to take interest in the non-league game, aren't they? And I think that's I think that's what the good thing is, and hopefully it grows more in the future and more people start to sort of realise, you know, this is the way forward. I think. So, of your time here at the box, have you got one highlight that stands out? Um, I've had a couple of standouts, but you know. Went to Macclesfield away last season, and I think you know what I mean. I don't think anyone was expecting anything to come out of the game because I think they they were like four to five points clear, won every game, or I think they'd maybe like lost one or something. And we had like the week before Pride, I think we'd been battered four 0 at home by Dunstan in the cup, and we went one 0 down pretty early on. And I thought, oh yeah, they are flood, floodgates are opening, and then we scored two like, two late goals in the court. Wow. You know, it just shows the character of the team sort of thing. I've had a couple of more highlights, you know, beating, doing, doing Midian home and away the other year as well. You know, she few memorable derby wins and stuff like that, but Macclesfield, that's one that just does sort of stick out to me. Tell us about the little start of the season, how has it been? Um, I think we've, we've been in a bit of a transition, you know, you can tell we're sort of new. You know, we've had, had a lot of new faces come in, a lot of the old ones go out. Um, I think I think it's took a bit of a while to sort of adjust with a new team. When you sort of do, when you have ten of ten new faces, you sort of have to gel. Um, and we had we played Presswich in the FA Cup and lost three one. And I thought, you know, 
something's not working here and something, you know. But then we let it gel and sort of we lost the witness as well and thought, yeah, something isn't working. And then, you know, credit to the manager, he, he knew where it, where it was going wrong, he's changed it. And, you know, performances had been there, but I just don't think the results were coming. And then we'd beat Trafford 1-0 and thought, yeah, performance and the result to go with it. And then we'd be concert last week, 6-2, and I thought, yeah, it's, I think it's finally gelled now. And I, I feel like it's it's finally gelled now. And, you know, I think, sort of, I think you now we can probably have a good little run to where we want to be, which is challenging near that top end of the league. And, you know, like I say, start of the season, it's been good, but, you know, it's certainly been challenging at the same time. Been transition, but now I think it's gelled. And just finally, give us a player for our viewers to watch out for in the Bootle side. Um, I'll give you one starting, Owen Robinson, a new lad. I would say Ben Alkinson, but he's, uh, he's on the bench today, so look out, number 11, Owen Robinson. Very, very good last week, very quick, so give him a little look out for him. Thanks for talking to us, Joe. We wish you the best of luck for the rest of the season, just not today. <laughs> of course, thanks, man. After making a long trip in their last away fixture, Vauxhall make the relatively short journey to the Berry Street Garage Stadium, the home of Bootle FC. And this pitching in Northern Premier League Division 1 West tie. Vauxhall coming out on the back of two wins on the bounce, getting their season finally started, whereas the hosts have not been beaten in over a month. Well, a month ago today, they suffered defeat against Widnes. Connor Harwood and Michael Berkey got the goals last time out, looking to add to their goal tally. And Bootle are fresh from there. It's due to FA Trophy first round qualifying win, where they put six past Concert AFC. We'll run through the teams that were lining up today. And for Bootle, number one in goal, Owen Mooney. Two, Craig Carney. Three, Arthur Lomax. Four, Tom Moore. 5 Lewis Earl, 6 Charlie Doyle, 7 Mason Fawns, 8 Billy Reeves, 9 Bailey Thompson, 10 Andy Scarsbrook, fresh from his late double against Concert, and 11 Owen Robinson. And the subs for Bootle James Cooper, Steve Milne, Ben Hodkinson, joint top scorer for the Bucks this season, Leon Legg, and Sam Burns. And for the visiting motors, it's an unchanged team. From the team that started out against Mosley last time out in goal, Sam Booth, and it's defence of Ethan Goldborn, Bobby Beaumont, Adam Hughes, and Ben Buckton Kelly. In midfield, of Sam Hughes alongside the captain, Ben Holmes, Steve Wigby just in front of them, Michael Berkey, Joe Brandon, and up front, number nine, the world's greatest striker, <laughs> Connor Harwood. <laughs> Connor came to me today and asked me to be a bit kinder to him on commentary, so I'm going the other end and I'm going to say everything he does is the greatest thing that he's ever done. And his hair is wonderful. Uh, he has, I saw it up close today and it is luscious. He's out so soon. No league. It is wonderful. And the subs for Vauxhall, Sean Moscroft, Jordan Wynn, Thomas Mitchell, Lewis Buckley and Jordan Deere. Steve Hilton, as the teams just go through their final preparations, it's going to be a tasty one this today. Yeah, it's good, it's going to be a good one. Pitch is immaculate. Um, a bit chilly than last week, must say. Um, and we've, um, we've been bullied out of our position, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> but it feels like a little bit of a garden gazebo, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a nice little bit of decking, and I mean, must say, as the teams are now lining up right beside us, the pitch is immaculate. We've had a little walk on it, and it is. It's a very good standard. Yeah, you know what? I said before in the build up, if you see that in the Premier League, you just think it was, it was normal, you know what I mean? It's, uh, there's not a slope on it, it's just totally flat. You can get your uh, spit level out, I'm sure, it'll be flat all over. And it's, um, yeah, it's immaculate. It's one of the best non-league pitches I've ever seen. So Ben Holmes leads out Vauxhall. Craig Carney leading out the home side in blue and yellow. Vauxhall in their changed luminous green, toxic green that I like to call it. They're preparing for this game today. Vauxhall sitting 19th on the table, but still too early to draw conclusions from that. Yeah, we're five or six games in, aren't we? Um, you know, it'll be impressive, but you know, they're only 
five points off. You know, go two points in the boot today with a win. Um, Look at Avro up there, who we were by far a better team than last season, so, you know, it's early doors. Get a few wins on the belt, hopefully confidence is back with them, a couple of wins. And as you said, September is when it's really settled in, no longer, no more heat waves that we experienced last week. Very blustery, a bit chilly. The coats are being worn. Although are you still? No, I'm still in shorts. Still in shorts, still I like short, it. But, um, I might be regretting that decision come five o'clock. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, God, what's he doing? Voxel will be kicking towards the Bootle Books Inclusion FC community stand. It's a bit of a mouthful, mouthful but yeah. we like to. And Boot will go against the Dodge Cop. The Dodge Cop. I like these little grounds where you can have a, you can have a bit of terrace and by the bar. Nice seats. Sit there, have a pint. What non league football's all about. Nice little pint of pints. I think I think the mood is mixed here after Liverpool's latish win. Against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Mentality Wanderers. Fifty percent of the crowd enjoying shout, what they say. Shout out to Mark. Right, Hello, Mark. Hi, Mark. No, we missed him. It looks like he's carrying a bin, but it's, uh, it's a seat. Uh, just got, going back to what I was saying. Fifty percent of the uh, crowd also lamenting the fact that Liverpool managed to claw back the win. <laughs> yeah. Crowd starting to pack this little terrace gazebo. now. Gazebo, we're going for gazebo. wooden gazebo. Changing around, don't see the point of that. No, it's one of my pet hates. I can understand it. You're, you're going to Anfield and you want to, you want Liverpool to kick into the cup first half, or Man United against the Stratford half, Stratford end. But not only football, you know, you got twelve people behind one goal, and six behind <laughs> the other goal. The pitch is flat as there's no wind, there's no there's no bed on it. Apart from just doing it for the sake of right, we'll wheel change. So now Voxel will kick it into the Dodge Cop. So we're underway. In it comes. It's at the back post. Oh. <laughs> it was more. It's a hell of a chance. Gets great contact on it, but he can't direct it towards goal. He had all the, all the space at the back of the crowd, and maybe he's just a bit unsighted. Sam Boot's getting involved with the um, uh, Voxel defender on the forward. And the cross has just gone right past him. A let off for Vauxhall then. Yeah, massive let off. Of course, it's sweetly. You just waiting for that to ripple out, you know. Chance for Berkey to open his legs. Clips one over Harwood. Gets a header on it. Let's go. It's just goal. Header saves and Rigby's there to pounce. Lines with flag still down. It's 1 0. So from one end to the other. Some saved by the goalie initially. Vauxhall take the lead. 41. 41. <laughs> well the patients here disappointed they win the golden minute. <laughs> that was literally the first attack from that chance where Bootle should have opened the score and Harwood yeah, finds Berkey. Uh, Berkey finds a good cross, clips one over. Harwood headers it. In fairness, Mooney makes a great, great save. save. But Rigby's there to pounce. Gets his first goal of the season. Yeah. 
Does that count as a Harwood assist? Because he was the last touch? Or because he come off the keeper? No, I don't think you can have an assist on that. Then again, we know Connor will probably come over and have a word, so yeah, you can have that one, Connor. Oh yeah, sorry, it, it was Connor Harwood with a fantastic meant, assist. He meant it. He, uh, he knew exactly what he was doing there. Wants to give one of his teammates his first goal of the season. I'm giving, I'm giving it to him. But we're looking to strike before the end of the half. Shot from distance. It was Burns and Booth just enough behind it, and fortunately, no brutal power was following up. Can't see what it moved in the air from this angle, but you got Everton behind it. Made sure it bounced up, which it did. I think it was just fortunate for Booth and for the Vauxhall defence to no brutal player gambled. Low cross in. Took it off his foot. And Robinson takes it off Burns' his foot. And the chance is over. It's almost certain it's happened there. He's just took it off his foot. A bit of communication with my other player. And he fancy there's at least a shot on goal there. Now it's with Burns. Burns goes past Beaumont. Low cross, still with Bootle, and it's flashed oh. across the goal. Good chance for them to equalise, but not taken. Burns have got a pass Beaumont. But couldn't find another blue and yellow shirt. I make her 64. Oh, oh it's a oh, strike from Barney. The rebound comes to, I think it was Fawns, and chance missed. he's ballooned it over the Dodge Cop. Sam Booth put it back out into the Dings area. And he's, uh, he's put it over from what? 12 yards? I think it might have been close at this angle that we're at. It doesn't help, but. Uh, it was a fierce strike from Carney. And Fawns couldn't capitalise on the rebound. Goldborn to Burke in the middle. He cuts through, gets the left, puts a shot away! Great finish. Great touch and finish from Burke. The dancing feet shifted onto his left foot. Buries it into the bottom corner. Mooney had no chance. Great left foot to finish. Burke slowly getting back up to a. Uh, where he was last season, he only saying last week and he didn't think he'd been playing that well, but um, certainly last week and this week, back to the Michael Burke we know from last season. He's had, he's got two brutal defenders harassing him and he manages to dance in between I was, them. I was just thinking you showed me there that brutal, it was brutal chance, brutal chance, brutal chance. But um, the last couple of minutes I think they were just trying to force the ball a few times as well, you know, just gone long a bit and it's just ran through to Sam Booth and... As uh, our friend in front of us has called it a day, 2 0. <laughs> oh, yeah. Great play by Perky and an uh, important goal, that. Bit of a buffer. And Bootle are going to have to chase it now. And it's fair to say, Vauxhall have done well, well to weather the storm from Bootle. Stay in it, get the first goal, and the pounce to get the second. Yeah, to what defence only. They've had, they've had a couple of chances they should be scoring, but okay, defensive, we've, we've dealt with most, most things as we could. Cross your hands. That's a week ahead of the news. Deal with it, not And it's flicked over the booth. They get one back. It's Sam Burns with the goal. What's he giving here offside, does he? Or the, the goal stands, the goal. wants the ball back, the referee. So, Bootle have halved the deficit. 
Can they go on and get the equaliser and rescue the girls? You can just see it. Under, you can just see it. Hundred percent, what was going to happen, couldn't you? It was a, a weak header from Hughes. Booth rushed out to deal with it, but it was flicked Three over him. Vauxhall all of a sudden just hanging on to that lead. We must be must have played about ten minutes of overtime here. Shaking up for the shot, hard to see. For the save, for the save. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, to what a save! Boos tipped it onto the bar. Keep the shooting there, right on that one. Got to tip onto the bar. What an effort it was from Hawkinson. Nothing left to play now. Yes! That was the last chance for this game. I think in the end, Vauxhall were hanging on. But uh, they've made the two crucial breakthroughs in this game. Beautiful web pressing for the equaliser at the end. and. Sandu has pulled off an incredible save to tip that last chance of Hodginson onto the bar. But in the end, Steve Vauxhall coming away 2 1 winners. Yeah, do you know what? That's three very hard four points there. Um, they've had to dig deep defensively. Um, to be honest, the goal they scored, it was an error. I think we were, well, they had a chance, but I think we were comfortable with what they were throwing at us. But just considering that goal in the last five minutes, a lot of injury time to play. And you just don't put it down, gone, and we did. We dug in deep. Sam Booth, great save in the last seconds of the game. But uh, good performance, hostile crowd, you know, difficult place to come to. And that's three on the bounce. Uh, Onwards and upwards. I just want to point out in my notes that I've written about this game. Every single one is a brutal chance, a brutal chance, a brutal chance in spurts with two Vauxhall goals. It was that kind of game today. Listen, if you put the double ball back in the net, you would not win games, and the chances we've had, right, the keepers made a world, he saved first half, followed it up, um, and then Berkey's well, it's a brilliant second half, so they put us 2-0 up in there, and put a bit in space, but um, yeah, you know what, they didn't, didn't give in, but until the end, they, they had a good goal, like I said, they got that mis mistake from us, and from where we were, you could see it was always going to happen, uh, they weren't the pace of the ball to head it back to Sam Booth, and it was just... You could, you could see it all day, couldn't you? And then you just hoping you can hold on. And they, you know, they took it there deep. And, uh, very, very, very good three points. So it's three wins on the bounce now for Vauxhall, two in the league. These two sides are back in action next week in FA Trophy. Second qualifying round action. The host bootle will travel to Stockton to face Stockton Town, while Vauxhall will host Stocksbridge Park Steels. And with that win, Vauxhall provisionally up to 14th place. And momentum gathering for the motors. So I'm making my notes for the match. It just said brutal chance, brutal chance, brutal chance with two Vauxhall goals and it was that kind of game. No, I don't think it was, to be honest. No, the um, first 20 minutes, I think they give us a bit of a run around with the system they play. Um, then we get the goal, it settles us down, which was good. And then I thought... Apart from having loads of possession, apart from that last crazy, I don't know what the ref said, I don't really found nine minutes, is that really troubled us really. But our keepers what have made two saves. But you know what, they're a very good outfit. Were you hanging on a bit more than you wanted to at the end of the game? It's going to happen anyway. We, the goals, it's poor for Mark. We've defended so well and we've got, you know, Adam tried to edit back and hasn't got there. It's a fair place a lad, he's nipped in, but. That didn't really trouble us, obviously, until that like mad like nine minutes that we have. But did that speak to like the resoluteness of your team? Yeah, I think we, as I said, I, I said a chase time, didn't you? I thought we seen a bit of a, a little bit of, of what we're about, and I thought today, I thought in possession we could have been better, but the work rate and the endeavour and you know throwing the bodies on the line, and when you've got quality players like the Connors, Joe Brandon, Berkey, Ben Owens, you know, you know even Riggs pop up with a goal today. You know, you're gonna you're gonna win games of football and we've never got down when we've lost and we don't get too high when we win, so it's just a massive win. Massive win. Steve Rigby with his first goal and Berkey with the dancing feet showing his quality. 
Yeah, look, we, have, we haven't, no one's seen the real Berkey this season yet. Um, there's a few factors in that which we know in-house, in the changing room, so hopefully he's over that now and you know, we're going to see the Berkey that, you know, with that league up, with the uh, counties up last season because today, in patches, in the brand, and we're, we're untouchable to be fair. Um, so I want a big shout out today for Connor. Connor Harwood because he, he asked me to be nice about him on commentary but he, he ran himself into the ground today didn't he I think that's what he gives you um, he gets down on himself a lot but you know for the work rate and the, the mileage that that lad puts in for the team you know it, it, it just gives us that you know gives us a focal point to hit and you know with him and Lewis it's, we've got two really good centre forwards so yeah good, good, good happy ship at the moment three wins on the bounce two in the league things are looking a lot better now than they were a couple of weeks ago it was always you know, when you lose that many games on the bounce and you know Let's be honest, we, we deserve to lose at Nantwich and we deserve to lose at Prescott, but, you know, take them two games out of it, we've been really good. Um, you know, hopefully we'll, we can keep keep winning games and putting a smile on everyone's face and, you know, this is where we want to be, I think we belong at this level, mate, you know, you know, we, 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 we're going a long way to prove that. Keep that momentum going, congratulations today.